Evet. evet. Yeah. How are you going to get in the middle? Oh, barely see. You. Oh Christ! That's a nice chewy sound. That's sarcasm. That's another fine mess you've got me into. Is that a, is that a clue? Is that a hint? Does that tell you what this trailer might be? No. We've seen the first. Oh yeah, the two guys. A round man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a skinny man. Do you but remember what they're called? Their names. Laurel, L Laurel and Hardy. Bob and Laurel Bill. and Hardy. No. What, what do you think they're called? Bob and Bill. Bob and Bill. Laurel and Hardy. Laurel. Laurel and Hardy. Hardy. Laurel yeah. And Hardy. Yeah. Hardy and Laurel. Laurel no, and Hardy. Anyway, so they're called Laurel and Hardy, or Stan and Ollie. Stan Laurel. Stan and Oliver Hardy. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, so we saw the first trailer. I don't know if you remember, John C. Riley was yeah, playing was... Stan Ollie. Yeah. No, Stan Laurel. So John C. Riley <laughs> is playing Stan. Look there in the background. Zoom in. Zoom in on Zoom in on. When you had Stan. Two. And. Zoom in on. Oh my God. I will. Oh my God, what's the name of the other guy? He's <laughs> got a shooter. Oh, um, Steve, Steve Coogan. Coogan. This has gone really well, hasn't it? So, Steve Coogan and John C. Riley are playing Oliver Hardy and Stan Laurel. Yes. In a film called Stan and Ollie. Oh my God, just play I can't get trailer. it right. Anyway, let's see what we think. Roll sound. Roll camera. Ready, boys? Quiet, please. We're at West Scene 12, take one. <laughs> about the size of the audiences. I've been a little disappointed. And they said, could you persuade Stan and Ollie to do some publicity in order to turn the tour around? Would there be any more money? <sighs> they said no. Well, who is they? People. The worst kind. Here we are. The Eiffel Tower. <laughs> How is Oliver? Hmm? He pulling weight? How's your knee? It hurts. Is he even pushing you a little too hard, mate? No. We could have a long time ago said goodbye, Oliver. That's all in the past. You're not still carrying that around, are you? Because I went ahead and did a picture with someone else 16 years ago. Amazing. You and Harry are just going to be great together. Mm -hmm. Couldn't sleep for days when they told me what you did. And I couldn't sleep when I did it. You betrayed me. Betrayed our friendship. I loved us. You loved Laurel and Hardy. But you never loved me. No. The doctors told me I can't continue with the tour. My heart won't take it. He asked me, since you were sick, if I wouldn't mind carrying on the show with somebody else. May I introduce to you Mr. Nobby Cook? You're not leaving, are you, Stan? The show must go on. That was pure magic. It's brilliant. <laughs> We'd like to finish now with a little dance. You sure? I can do it. I'll miss us when we're gone. So will you. What time is it now? All this. Do we really need that trunk? Oh, I think that looks really sweet. And it's going to be really sweet for the people that watched, like, that really liked them, you know. Yeah, so you think it's going to be a nice nostalgia trip for original fans yeah, of Yeah, because they're old legends. Yeah. yeah. It looks sweet. It looks sweet. Would you I like would, to watch it? it? Yeah. Mm. Would you like to watch it? Mm. Yeah. I think their makeup, I think they, having, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, looks he looks so amazing. Like... His fat suit and his yeah. prosthetics, he looks remarkably like him. And I have to say, so does Steve Coogan. Yeah. He looks incredible. He I don't know whether they've prostheticised his ears. Uh, slightly, because I don't, I don't remember. I've never known his, him have such his... long ears. Well, I was saying uh, Anton Deck are kind of like our version of... Anton Deck. And there were others when I was a boy, like Little and Large. I've heard. Cannon and Ball. I haven't heard that. and Wise. Yeah, I've heard of them. The Two Ronnies. Doesn't quite have the same ring about no, no, it. it. But the Two Ronnies were great. I love the Two Ronnies. I love Morecambe and Wise. Um, so yeah, those comedy partnerships, it's very much it's set at the end of their career when they did a sort of almost what they call a twilight show. And I think it was in Eastbourne or somewhere in the UK. So mm. it's very much focusing on the end of their life. But way back in the day, 
prior to where this film set, they were massive stars yeah. in Hollywood. I mean, they were the stars literally of the silver screen. You know, it's called the silver screen because the light, it, it was black and white, silver. Are they dead now? Very dead. Oh. Very, very dead. And I think it's a crowd pleaser. I think that will do yeah, well at the box office. I think it'll do better here than it will in America for some reason. I don't know why. Mm. Yeah, I feel like it's a kind of British British, British thing. Film. Yeah. Mm. Yeah? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm sure if I can do it. <sighs> that didn't really work, did it? No, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> That's another fine myth you got me into. <laughs>